Our 11 Investigates team recently told you about a horse stable in Lake Township, and tonight we've got more about the owner of that stable that is charged with resisting arrest after an alleged horse dispute. But that incident is one of several complaints dealing with precious sea stables. Andre Norrells has been looking into the history of the stables and its owner. He shares what he's uncovered tonight, and there are some pictures of injuries in this story that could be disturbing. July 21st of this year was going to be a perfect day for Keith Logie and his partner. Just a fun day. We were going to, you know, horse ride during the day, go get some lunch, go to Cedar Point. It was a beautiful day, 80 degrees and sunny. But it all was cut short. My foot was turned completely around. I had some bones sticking out. I started screaming for help. They went horseback riding at Precious Sea Stables in Lake Township owned by Sarah Collins. Logie says they were recommended by a friend. The visit started out well, teaching them how to ride. And how to, you know, stop the horses and what to do on them. Walked around in a circle for about five, six minutes, made sure we were comfortable on them, and then we went out back behind her barn and took a tour around her pond. Logie says Collins then took them to the public street to ride more. Halfway through, the couple behind us had a phone call emergency and they had to stop um, what they were doing and go back. So at that point, we were all going to go back. He says part of the group headed back right away with Collins, and his group went back shortly after, and that's when it all went south. Heading back to the house, I'm pretty sure the horse recognized the house, and I forget the technical term, but it just took off like 30 miles an hour, and I went to go grab onto the reins and stopping the horse like we were taught in the beginning and the rain just completely tore off on the right side. So at that point, I reached down and held onto the horse's neck. He then decided to get off the horse while still in motion, resulting in serious injuries. I had broken three bones in my tibia, four in my fibia, crushed my ankle, um, so I had to get a steel rod, rebuilt ankle, um, a plate, nine screws, and like five days in the hospital. He claims he was left on the ground, screaming, with no help from Collins. When she had turned around with the other um, group and headed back, I never saw her talk to her since then. You stay calm. Collins, who's a licensed nurse, says Logie refused help. I stayed out there with him, even though he said don't touch him and get away from him, until 911 arrived. When they arrived, I asked them, do you need anything from me? Do you need to talk to me? They said no. She blames Logie for getting injured that day. He didn't follow any direction that we were giving him. He completely went into a panic mode. Logie says Collins was neglectful and is planning to file a lawsuit. But is that lawsuit winnable? According to the Ohio Revised Code, a horse owner is not liable for injuries a participant sustains during an equine activity, since there are inherent risks. And both Logie and Collins agree a waiver was signed prior to the riding session. But there are exceptions to this law. One is if the horse owner knowingly or neglectfully gave faulty equipment. Logie claims the harness was rope and broke off. This is not the only dispute Precious Sea Stables and Collins have been involved in, some resulting in criminal charges. There have been multiple complaints from neighbors and customers, and the Wood County Humane Society tells us it's investigating the stable after receiving complaints about the care of horses. 11 investigates requested all reports dealing with Collins from Lake Township Police. We received eight different reports, all taking place this year. Records show four were incidents where Collins called the police on customers and neighbors. The other four were the other way around. This report details the number of times police were called out because horses at Collins' stable got loose. It states throughout the year, police were called out at least five times dealing with the issue. The report says one neighbor has complained the horses have damaged their garden and left feces on the property. These cases resulted in the Perrysburg Prosecutor's Office charging Collins with two misdemeanors for animals running at large. She pled not guilty and is expected in court later this month for trial. And just on September 30th, three charges were filed against Collins, resisting arrest, obstruction of business, and illegal restraint after a dispute with a customer about a horse. But Collins says she complied with police that day. They ran up behind me and they grabbed me. They knocked me off balance at the end of the driveway. They told me they were leaving. They were, they were done dealing with it. 
and when they knocked me off balance, my arms froze. They were stiff, so that's what they called it. They can call it whatever they want. She plans to fight the charges in court this month. And all of this has taken place as Collins has been on probation for a criminal trespass charge from 2023. According to Perrysburg Municipal Court documents, Collins recklessly entered and remained on private property, once after knowingly crossing someone's property line and another when she was the passenger of an ATV that drove onto someone's property. Precious C. Stables isn't registered with the Ohio Secretary of State's website, which is required for any business entity, but Collins claims the work she does here is a hobby. Neighbors and Logie say whatever Precious C. Stables is considered, they want it to come to an end. I do not think that she should own a business, um, especially a horse riding trail. It's unsafe, and I think it should be shut down. The trial for the animal run at large and resisting arrest charges are set for the 24th at the Perrysburg Municipal Court. Excuse me. We will continue to share with you the latest on this case. For 11 Investigates, I'm Andre Newells.